Hi guys, my name is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at South Pole. Today we have a really exciting case, and that is a uh, intrahepatic shunt that we're doing transcutaneous coil embolization. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you'll get a ding on your phone the next time we live stream. So I'm not going to be able to answer a lot of questions while I'm doing this because I'm concentrating pretty hard. Um, but I'll try to explain as I'm going. So the first thing that I'm doing is making a nick over the jugular vein. And then we're going to pass a over the needle catheter into the jugular vein. And so everything we do is going to be through this venotomy. Flowing. Yep. All right. So next thing we do is we're going to pass a guide wire through the catheter into the vein. And then we're going to advance progressively larger dilators over that guide wire. This is a six month old golden retriever, Labrador retriever cross. Let me just grab that blade again, please. And gradually dilating that venotomy to the point that we can get the vascular access catheter in the jugular vein, and then that's where all the work is going to be done. Just raise the table a little bit. And I might just pull this out just to confirm that we're actually in the vein. That feels a little funny to me. I don't reckon we're in the vein, so let's get that. Um, yeah. Can I get a flush, please? Style that again, please. There's a needle. Oh, that's right in there. Sometimes we have to do a cut down on the vein. Uh, no, right. Can I get you to hold this off for me, please? No, just right up in the thoracic and right there. It feels like it ought to be in. Yeah. Bleeding like it's in. Can you hold on to that, please? Can we get a new um, red catheter, please? 18 gauge. Oh, I already thinks it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Last one we did is only about 50 minutes, and Jason, our visiting persona non grata, said, Oh, you'll get it in 40 minutes now. And, and he said it was a good vein, yeah. Big trouble. Really hold that off for me, please.
Yeah. That's flowing really nicely now. It should be flushing. I don't know if there's a clot in that vein or a valve or something. This is not supposed to be the hard part of the procedure. Is that hauling off nicely? Mm -hmm. Get a blade, please. I'll just do a little cut down. I will get the 10 blade, please. Yeah. And a mats and bone plate. So I'm just doing a little cut down. And uh, Sitinski, please. Sorry, I'm um, Debeki, please. There's the vein sitting right there. Place. Some silk plate. Uh, I need that held up for me, please. Thank you. So I've just done a little cut down on the vessel. And take that, and then take the catheter now. So now, can you hold off the vein, please, for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's definitely in. There's a big valve there. Pull back on that for me, please. I'll just try to flush that in. So now we'll get the
Right, so now I've got my, um, let's just get this time. Uh, can I get a hemostat, please? Just any kind of hemostat. Thank you. All right, so now I've got access to the jugular vein, and then we're going to start passing the progressively larger dilators into the vein. So it seems like there was a valve in the jugular vein that was impeding the passage. And so again, I'm going progressively larger dilators. Let me get that one in there. There we go. And when we get this one in, Alex will switch to the weasel wire. to the dilator or the wire and so this is a 150 mil hydrophilic weasel wire So now we can release our gelbies. And we'll flur out and see where we are with our wire. Um, there's something in the way there. Is there a is there a ECG clip on the back or something? Can that come out, please? So that's going down through the heart now, and that's going into the heart there. So now I need to twist it, get it to go past the heart. There we go. So that's now down into the vena cava. We'll just confirm that that's in the vena cava. Yeah, so that's down in the vena cava. Um, and then can you release the lock, please? And I'm just going to rotate this to make sure that it's not in the azygous vein, which it is not. And lock. All right, so now what we'll do, Alex, is we'll pull this guy out. Pull this guy out. We're going to replace our dilator with a vascular axis catheter. Can I get um, gauze here? Can you just hold some pressure there for me, please? Uh, so we need the other dilator going through the center of that. Uh, sorry, dilator through the center of that. And then we'll feed that through the center of the dilator. And then we'll need a suture to suture this in. Uh, 
I'm happy to use that there. Okay, and so I'm just going to flur to make sure that everything's okay there. And then we'll pull the dilator out. And then we'll just load that back up into the sheath. And grab some suture material. And we'll suture our vascular access catheter into place. And we'll probably sacrifice this jugular vein when we're finished. So next thing we need is our marker catheter. Yeah. And let's just flush this quickly. All right, so now we'll get our marker catheter. Yeah. Yeah, that's flushed. Yeah. Great, right, thank you. And then we're going to have to repass our weasel wire down. going probably in today's Igus vein, if I had to guess. Can I get that released, please? Yeah, got it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's in the Igus vein there. So I'll have to come back out. Back out to the level of the Igus vein and then twist it. Release, please. That's still in there, Zygus. This is a challenge that we had last week where it kept going into the Zygus vein. That's probably Zygus again. That just went into the coronary sinus. Release, please. Zygus again. And you couldn't pay me to get a release, please. Still in there, Zygus. Release. Hey, Zygus. <laughs> so that's such a challenge to get it to go down through the atrium. That says I guess again. Release. There's I guess again. So I can tell it's in the azygus because it's running right along the spine. That's in the heart. That might be better. Release. No. down into the heart so that's closer to where we want to be. It's going up into the heart again. It's a confirmation on some of these dogs. It really wants to go anywhere except where you want it to. That 
That's the one. All right, so let's just check that. That's good. All right, so now we take this off. So that's gone down where we want it to, and now we feed our marker catheter over the top of it. And that's flushed. Thank you. You got the. All right, so that's the marker catheter there, and then you just move back down into the liver and feed that down into the liver there. All right, so now we will pull the guide wire out. And we'll flush this guy. And then we'll leave that capped off. Can I get a towel clamp or something to... Move that back up over the heart, and then we'll pass another um, weasel wire down and try to get this one into the shunt. And you can you can leave that out, Alex. Yeah. And we're feeding another guide wire right alongside the previous one. And sometimes the other catheter will guide the new catheter down the... Can you release that, please? So that's definitely not in the hyzygous. So once you get one in there, it seems to get, and that's gone right into the shunt. Okay, so that's the portosystemic shunt right there. And so now we will feed we'll feed the cobra tip into into the shunt, and then we're going to do a contrast study to confirm where the os of the shunt is. So I'm feeding a cobra tip catheter over the guide wire. Now when that comes out you can pull just a little bit. Yep, yeah, just a little. Okay, and then I'm feeding that down and push that push that in a little farther. That's popped out. Okay, that's into the shunt now. Uh, and then let's advance the guide wire a little bit. Yeah, a little more. Okay, a little more. Just trying to get it down further into the shunt. All right, so now pull the guide wire out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we've got one, one catheter in the shunt and one in the, that's contrast. Mm -hmm. So we've got one in the shunt and one in the vena cava. Now what we have to do is inject contrast into both forcibly at the same time and then record or note where the shunt os is. And we've got that ruler across the top. So Alex, when I say go, flush that in pretty aggressively and then let's just watch and see approximately where the os is. Ready, one, two, three, go. Flushing, flushing, flushing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not showing up very well, so I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. Ready? One, two, three, go. Hard, hard, hard. Right yeah, okay, so that's at about seven where that's coming in. So now we just need to place the um, Vena Cava stent across 
So we can pull the portal vein catheter out, which is the cobra tip. And now we'll feed a weasel wire back down through the marker catheter. Keep that in place. this out slowly just to make sure that I've still got a weasel wire left in there and I do. Just keep feeding that in a little bit. All right. Point out. Hold on just a second. Let me feed that back down. That went straight into the shunt. I'll leave that in there for the moment. And then when we feed the vena cava stent in, it'll straighten out that weasel wire. and won't, because you won't be able to push the stent into the, yes. That's great, yep. All right, so now we'll just feed that over the top here. I'm feeding the weasel wire into the vena cava stent. Okay, hold on to that. Can you hold on to that, please? And as the, the, that's gone way down into the shunt. It's a shame I can't leave it in there. Okay, so is it, can you hold on to the weasel wire, please, at that end? And we'll feed this down. Go ahead and feed down off the weasel wire. Okay, so now the stent is going down into the vena cava. All right, so that's where we want it basically. So now we'll pull, yeah, uh, no, that can stay in. All right, so now I'm gonna start to deploy the vena cava stent right there. So you can see it start to open up. So that's great. So that's deployed now. And we can pull out, uh, leave, the leave the weasel wire in. Is that still in? No, that's come out. Okay, so that we can chuck that out. Two thousand dollars down the drain. Has that gone through? No, that's gone up into the heart. Is there a reason why our heart rate is so high? Can I get a gauze sponge, please? Um, can you see why we're not getting any chat there on the side? Yeah, that's right. All right, so now we've got the marker, I mean, we've got the weasel wire back in, so now we'll reintroduce the marker catheter. How's that, can you flush that quickly before we push it through? Thank you. What's at the bottom? Does that say chat at the lower right-hand corner? Lower right hand corner, keep going, right, right, right. What does that say right there? there. No, lower right hand corner, there. there. Uh, click on that. No, cancel. It's weird that there are no 30 people watching. Yeah, all right, so that's going through. Just hold on to that. All right, so now we're passing the marker catheter 
Is there a reason why that's locking there? Okay, so now I'm passing the marker catheter through and we'll pull the weasel wire out, flush the marker catheter and we'll leave that flushed. All right, then we'll pass another catheter, the Cobra catheter, flush that, pass that back down into the shunt. So we'll pass the weasel wire back down. You can just leave it like that. That's great. Thank you. And hopefully the, um, that went into the shunt, I think. That's down in the vena cava. All right, so let's just check. Can you release that, please? Make sure that we're not near the zygos. It's funny, once you get in, it's fine. Once you get in, it tends to continue to follow itself into the right place. So we're going to have to pull this out first, Alex. And then can we get the high pressure extension set, please? So now we're just going to measure pressures as soon as we can get this catheter in the shunt. Got that? Right, so the catheter is down there now. So we'll pull the weasel wire out a bit. Okay. And have to get it to drop into the shunt there. There it goes. All right, now try to advance the weasel wire in. That's it's back out. That should be through. Go ahead and try to advance that. It's probably going to pull out when you advance it. Yeah. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, try to feed that through. Okay, so now we've got the... Pull that back out. That's through, but it's not really through far enough. Go ahead and advance that. Yeah, that's the way, Alex. Perfect. Okay. That's the way. So that's down in the shunt. So now we can pull the weasel wire out. So now we've got a catheter in the shunt and a catheter in the vena cava. So now we'll flush this. And then we will get, um, we'll just measure pressures now. So do we have our transducer? Okay, so let's flush that. And then we just need to measure pressures in both our vena cava and in the shunt. I apologize that the chat isn't working. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, so first we will measure um, portal pressure. So we'll do a zero, pressure zero first, and leave it, point it off to the orange and flush. Yep, so, but we'll, we'll flush it through first. Uh, Keep it pointed off to the orange and flush it again because we're not getting a flush out here yet. There we go. All right, so now zero. Zero. Great. Okay, now we'll hook it up to the portal vein. Flush a little bit, please. Just a bit. Great. And now we'll measure. That's 16 dropping 
Should be a lot lower than that. I'll pull it out. It might be stuck off in a... There we go. Let's see if that drops off any further. Try to reflush, please. Okay. Certainly shouldn't be 17. 15, 14. I'll try measuring CVP then and see if that's any different. Flush, please. Okay, and then remeasure. I think we'll re zero. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we'll re zero it. Okay, go ahead and zero. Okay, and then connect it back up to the central venous pressure and just a little flush. So that's measuring minus one, minus two. Back up to four. All right, so CVP is measuring four now. Now we'll go back to our portal vein. Little flush, please. So that was four in the CVP, right? I think that's possible. Just back this out a little bit. Okay, is that any lower? Nine. This might have been against the wall or something. Yeah, let me just push that back down. Okay. The size of that os, that is not possible, but it's 12, so something is funky going on here. Let me just pull this out a little bit more. Okay, see if that changes. Can you flush a little bit for me, please? Okay. Slowly dropping. Flush this again from here. And a little flush. No. I'm going to remeasure the vena cava. Flush, please. So vena cava is measuring five now. Go back to portal vein. Little flush, please. Seven, thirteen, ten. So that's a gradient of five ish. 
just weird we shouldn't have that much of a gradient. So that's right down there. I think that's probably getting occluded. So it's nearly, there we go, Let's see if that, that should drop right down, 10, 9, okay, that's the issue. Right. So now I'll push that back in. All right, so we had an 8 and a 4, 8 in the portal vein and a 4 in the vena cava, so now we'll start delivering coils. Can we get some coils, please? This is what everybody's been waiting for. This is the coolest thing, I reckon. So, all right, Alex. So I'm plunging the coil in. Bend that over, please. Go ahead and feed that in. Start feeding. All right, so let's pull that back out just in case I'm back in the vena cava. I don't think it's gone back in the vena cava, but I'm not happy with that tip. Um, let's see what I can do here to try to flip that down. I just can't tell if it's on the back or if it's yeah can I get um can I get the this unlocked please so that looks like it's still within the shunt So that's good there. Let's go ahead and deliver that coil. Uh, hold on. Okay, go ahead. And it's possible that it'll start straightening out. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it back. Okay, there's the coil coming out there. Go ahead and deliver that. Yeah. Okay. And that, now let's see if we can advance the, pull the weasel wire back, please. Pull it back a bit farther. Uh, pull the marker cap it out a little bit so it's just not in the way because we can measure CVP anywhere. That's it there. So go ahead and advance the weasel wire. Okay. And then I'm going to come back out a little bit. Come back out a little bit. and advance it quite far. Okay, and then come back out. Come back out. 
Okay, that's good. Now advance. Just keeps pushing it out. Okay, come back out. Yeah. Um, just think about this for a second. Come back out. Come back out. Can advance. Yep. Come back out. So frustrating that it went in before so easily. Go ahead and advance. Go ahead. Come back out. Come back out. It's a bit farther through. Give me just a second. Okay. And where's your weasel wire? Is it out? Okay. This is the frustrating bit. It's just not in far enough. I think it's too far proximal, too far cranial. That's it. Go ahead and advance. Yeah. That's it. All right. Um, can I get the thing released, please? Yeah, that's great. All right. So now, yeah, uh, pull the weasel wire out. I've got another coil here. Yeah. And what should happen is as we deliver it out here, it should run upstream. Okay, and then we'll just help it move down a little bit. So that's moving in position nicely. Let me just see if I can twist that a little bit. I like it pointing in the other direction, ideally. That's good. All right, so let's go ahead and pass another one down. We'll do two more and then we'll measure.
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right, so now I'm just going to see if I can manipulate this a little better. Uh, let's try to pass. You know what? Pass the... Um, let's go ahead and pass the weasel wire back down. Yeah. Let me just see if I can straighten out that. Cobra catheter a little bit. Yeah, all right, so I'm just going to try to advance that a little bit more. Advance that a little bit more. Okay. Ah, come back out. Um, let's just measure of pressure now. Can you flush, please, for me? If it's going in there, it can't possibly be, the coils can't be obstructing the shunt, you know what I mean? So unless it's just pushing through the wall of the... Or, you know, indenting the wall of the vena cava. Yeah. Flash that again for me, please. Seventeen, fourteen. Okay, there we go. Ten, nine, and it was pre was what? Ten. Pre was eight grading or eight. Okay, so that's nine now. All right, so now we can deliver another one. Let's just quickly measure the vena cava. Just a little flush, please. So it's eight gradient, four to 12, right? Yeah, you had a CDP of four, and then you had the photo pressure of eight. Um, four and eight, yeah. right. So now it's four and 10, Five, four and nine. four and nine. So, all right, so we need to put in some more. Um, all right, so can we get a couple more? Okay. Has that been in the in the sheath recently? When it comes out here, let's put it back in the mm -hmm. sheath. Okay. Oh, we didn't have a coil in, did we? Okay. Yeah. Uh, coil.
Yeah. So here comes the coil. The coil definitely all the way out. Okay, let's just remeasure pressure. Flush, please. Get that released, please. Um, uh, yeah, cool. Jason, do you want to deliver one? You can go quite quickly. You'll feel more resistance when it gets close. Sure, that's going and not bouncing back each time you push it in. Yeah. It's going for sure. Yeah. Okay. So here comes the coil. Can you do it? Hold on, just a second. Can you do a breath hold for me, please? Just bag and hold. Okay. Go ahead. So let's remeasure. Let's feed that back up into there. Where's our transducer? And flush, please. Coils.
Iya. Yeah. Ya, guys. Three? That went three? Yeah. Okay. Let me just make sure that we're still on. Go ahead and pull out the weasel wire. Yeah. I'm just worried that we're measuring distal, measuring the pressure distal, and I can't get that further into the. Um, let's try it up here. Try to advance the weasel wire through. So sorry, you think about measuring the distal flow the indicator of pressure instead of the shunt? Yeah. So I'll probably give it a, I'll probably stop in a minute and just yeah, and see how we go with bile acids and stuff. Hold on just a second, I'm going completely out. Go ahead and advance the weasel wire. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second. Um, That looks encouraging. Okay, pull the weasel wire out. I don't think that's coming. Okay, so now let me just try to twist it. Okay, advance it again, please. Uh, I think I'll come back out. it there nearly. Go ahead and advance the has that been flushed recently? Yeah. Can you go ahead? All right, that's great. All right, so go ahead and pull that out. I don't think that's coming out. We're gonna have to get a new weasel wire if we're gonna have if we're gonna keep deploying. Yep. Can we do a little flash, please?
Yeah. All right. So let's deliver another. Let me get some more coils, please. Really give that a good flush and see if we can get it rehabilitated. Too sticky. A little bit. It's just a bit bendy. Do you want to get a new weasel wire? Yeah, we'll get a new weasel wire, please. That's not going in at all. All right, let's just get a new one. And what all pressure difference? Uh, is nine and four, so still five. And there is a coil in there, right? Mm -hmm. Bit easier. Being deployed now. Get out of there. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah, great. We measure. Flush. Yeah. Zero. Oh, sorry, um, flush, that's up to 10. Put one more in. Coil, please. Coil, please. Can you bag and hold? Please hold on just a second. And ready? Okay, go ahead. Great, thanks. Yeah. Let's give that a little jiggle to release it. Hey? Yeah. with that a little bit. Okay. Great, thanks. So 16, 19, don't believe it.
11 to 4. So that's probably close enough. We might put in one more. No, that's out. We'll leave it. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's it. Um, I'm just going to tie off this jugular vein. Hey? Uh, now I can tie off this proximal one here. Um, can I get a right angle, please? I'll just put another silk around the distal segment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just get ready to snip that and pull it out. Uh, blade, please. Yep, thank you. Yeah, so we're pulling the jugular vein catheter out now. And we just have to lift up on both. Oh. All right, and that's pretty much it. So um, post-operatively, we're just going to monitor for portal hypertension. Uh, evidence of seizures, don't really need pain relief because um, we haven't done anything surgically. Um, and keep it sedated and check our blood glucose. So we should be in pretty good shape. Um, and so thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you turn on notifications. And we will see you again soon.